Obviously, in the real world, you would have uh, more quiz responses than this. Just to try to make this a little more realistic, I had Spider-Man, Batman, and Captain America take the quiz. So now I want to grade the quiz with Flubberoo. So I'm going to click Add-ons, point at Flubberoo, click Grade Assignment. And the first thing it's going to ask me to do is how do I want to categorize test items. So the very first test item is what is your first and last name and that test item identifies the student. So that test item will not be graded. And then for the capital of Arizona is, I've got a choice. I've got these choices for how I want to categorize this answer and I'll make it worth, we'll say it's worth five points. And then the flag shown below is the flag of, and we'll also make that worth five points. And then we'll click continue. And now we need to select the submission, which will be the answer key. And I want to choose John Kane for the answer key. So I'm going to click select. And this is kind of an interesting wrinkle in Flubberoo. Uh, in order for you to select an answer key, you have to have at least two submissions. So you can't just create the quiz and then take the quiz yourself as the teacher and then create the answer key. You have to have your submission for the answer key and at least one other submission from at least one student. So I selected myself. My submission is the answer key. I click continue. Flubberoo grades the assignment. It says grading has completed. I click view grades. Now if I look at my tabs at the bottom of the spreadsheet, I've got a tab called Student Submissions, and if I click on that, I'll just see the uh, responses to the quiz. But if I click on Grades, I'll see the grades that uh, Flubberoo just computed.